Welcome to our channel. Civil Engineering Basics. For more videos please subscribe, Civil Engineering Basics. Hello friends, in this video we will analyze the provisional answer key of paper of assistant engineer, civil engineer, exam taken on the 4th of March 2018. In this video we will discuss each questions with answers given in provisional answer key and discuss the right answer with the reference available online. Let's start this analysis. You can download the provisional answer key by visiting my blog, which is www.civilbasics.blogspot.in. We will skip the general studies portion of paper, because our main aim is to analyze the questions of civil engineering only. We will discuss both wrong answers and right answers with references of books of civil engineering available online freely. So, you can also find the reference. Visit civilbasics.blogspot.in to download provisional answer key of assistant civil engineer class 2 GPSC. Let's start. Question is. A pull of 20 ton is suddenly applied to a rod of cross-sectional area 40 cm square. The stress produced in the rod is equal to a 0.5 ton per centimeter square, b 1.0 ton per centimeter square, c 2.0 ton per centimeter square, d 4 ton per centimeter square. Now, let's see the details. For suddenly applied load, when the total force is applied in one installment that is force of 100 m is applied in one installment, it causes two times the stress as compared to when the same load is applied gradually. Example, weight of 50 kg is placed in a weighing balance. A person slowly sitting on a chair, placing a television on a table. Placing a bundle of books on a table. Let's calculate stress for suddenly applied load equals 2F by A. Equals 2 times 20 by 40. Equals 1.0 ton per centimeter square. Final answer is 1.0 ton per centimeter square. Wrong answer is given in provisional answer key. Reference, Civil Engineering, OT, by Ready. Page number 129, K number 232. Question is, let the strains produced in length and diameter of the cylindrical rod be alpha and beta respectively. Then the volumetric strain is given by A. Alpha plus 2 times Nita, B, Alpha plus Beta, C, Alpha minus Beta, D, Alpha minus 2 times Beta. Now, let's see the details. Volumetric strain equals longitudinal strain plus 2 times hoop strain. Strain produced in length of cylinder rod is Alpha so, longitudinal strain equals Alpha and Strain produced in diameter of cylinder rod is beta so, hoop strain equals 2 times beta. So, volumetric strain equals alpha plus 2 times beta. Right answer is given in provisional answer key. Reference, NPTEL, Lecture 16, Strength of Materials, by Professor Satich C. Sharma, from IIT Raw Orki. Question is. A rod of length L is hanging vertically and carries a load P at the bottom. If the weight per unit length of the rod be W, then the tensile force in the rod at a distance Y from the support is given by A, P, B, P, W, C, P plus W, D, P plus W, L, Y. 
Skipping this question. Because we have not found any reference. Visit civilbasics.blogspot.in for more details. Question is, the moment of inertia of rectangular section about the base is a. Twice the moment of inertia about the centroidal axis. b. Three times the moment of inertia about the centroidal axis. c. Four times the moment of inertia about the centroidal axis. d. Six times the moment of inertia about the centroidal axis. Let's see the details. As you can see in diagram given right hand side. Moment of inertia of rectangular section about is mid axis x equals bd cubed by 12. Moment of inertia of rectangular section about its base will be x equals bd cubed by 3. So, 4 times x equals x. Final answer is 4 times the moment of inertia about the centroidal axis. Wrong answer is given in provisional answer key. Question is, which of the following represents the shear force at a section of the beam? Right answer is given in provisional answer key. Ref, Fundamentals of Machine Elements, 3rd edition, SI version, by Stephen Arshmid, Bernard J. Hamrick, Bo. O. Jacobson, page 116, Moment Curvature Relation. Visit civilbasics.blogspot.in for more details. Question is, the maximum bulking of sand is likely to occur at a moisture content of a 5%, b 8%, c 11%, d 14%. The maximum bulking of sand is likely to occur at a moisture content of 5%. As per building materials and construction by G. C. S. U. Joy Gopal Jaina. As per basic civil engineering by Sathish Gopi, Gopi, page 13. For a moisture content of 5 to 8 percent, the increase in volume may be about 20-40 percent depending upon the gradation of sand. You can see the diagram showing moisture content versus increase in volume percent. So, from these reference we cannot decide final answer. Question is, organic matter in water for making concrete should not be more than a 1000 parts per million, b 3000 parts per million, c 10,000 parts per million, d 15,000 parts per million. You can see the table below which if from Indian standard code which says that permissible maximum limits for organic solids would be limited to 200 mg slash L. Ref. Indian Standard 456 to 2000, Clause 5.4, Table 1, 1 gram slash M3 equals 1 milligram slash L equals 1 part per million. But no such options is given in the above question so we cannot decide final answer because no option of 200 ppm is given in options. Visit civilbasics.blogspot.in for more details. Question is, the lime which sets on absorbing CO2 from atmosphere is A. Lean lime, B. Feebly hydraulic lime, C. Rich lime, D. Fat lime. By seeing reference, building materials, by S.K. Dougal, 8.3 classification. Lean or poor lime sets on absorbing carbon dioxide from atmosphere and also rich or pure lima sets on absorbing carbon dioxide from atmosphere. Both lean lime and rich lime sets on absorbing CO2 from atmosphere. Question is, blast furnace slag has approximately a 45% calcium oxide and about 35% silica. B 50% alumina and 20% calcium oxide. C. 25% magnesia and 15% silica. D. 25% calcium sulfate and 15% alumina. We are skipping this question, because of lack of references. Question is, 
The approximate ratio between the strengths of cement concrete at 7 days and 28 days is a 3 by 4 b 2 by 3 c 1 by 2 d 1 by 3 Let's see the details Strength of concrete at 1 day 16% Strength of concrete at 3 day 40% Strength of concrete at 7 day 65% Strength of concrete at 14 day 90% Strength of concrete at 28 day 99% So ratio between strength of cement concrete at 7 days and 28 days is 65% by 99% equals 2 by 3 Final answer is 2 by 3 Wrong answer is given in provisional answer key key. Visit civilbasics.blogspot.in for more details. Thank you so much for viewing this video. For more video on civil engineering subscribe my channel. Civil Engineering Basics